lot of water people okay this is the um accumulum energy for the um the water people okay so this is uh, um the full moon reading of february for um the pisces cancer and scorpion so um what is there for you water people first this video is going to be in three parts i'm going to put the timing underneath these videos and with these three parts what we have is that you if you want to see the extended of this reading um guys you have to choose the 4.99 to connect to my channel okay so let's see what is coming up first we do the sun sign and the moon sign i have no preference but you first have the sun moon horizon sign okay so um i will place a, um, a time stamp for the sun sign for the moon sign and then for the 12 house what is going to be transpiring all right water people let's look and see this is for the people who were born between 6 a.m and 6 p.m you're coming in with the queen of pentacles in the reverse so if you were born um uh, within the time of uh, 6 a.m and 6 p.m you're coming in with this queen of pentacles in the reverse then i see you're not winning from this person whatever is transpiring i see that there is it's not a yes with this person because you can't win from this person you also have an issue with an aries leo or sagittarius that you're also dealing with and i see your worries is going to be over about this person this person is an aries leo or a sagittarius 50 years and older whatever your worries was it is going to be over then i see a help is going to be coming in whatever the issue and the situation is i see help is going to be coming in so what is transpiring is that some of you could have been having an issue with a taurus virgo or a capricorn person it could be a mother figure it could be a sister however this person is coming up i see a tower moment is going to be coming down because some of you whatever has transpired this person is really turning up the soil so if you were born between hours of 6 a.m and 6 p.m you're dealing with a taurus virgo or a capricorn woman it could be a mother figure it could be a partner but um you are going to have a strong foundation against an aquarian gemini or libra woman 50 years and older however that is coming out you have a strong foundation against this person i see whatever the lies and deceptiveness was or is that has played you have no worries because you stand strong against what has transpired some of you need to find balance dealing with an issue and a situation and i see you're going to be receiving help balancing out whatever deceptiveness at spell you're coming out with you young ladies between the ages of 18 and 35 in uh, uh um in um the reverse so whatever is transpiring you ladies between the ages of 18 and 25 is in the reverse position now when you come out in the reverse position that means you have done something that was deceptive and it could be that you have done something against your mother that is a taurus Virgo, or capricorn this person is really tilling the soil to find out exactly what has transpired and what you have done so let's see what is the connection with this lady i see that some of you want to offer um love or reconnect with this lady but she's in the reverse she is like uh, i don't know i have given you a chance you have created so much lies and deceptiveness I am not going to be helping you out of um, any more situation and this woman is like she no longer feel the n n nature or the nature um, because of something that you have done to this lady I see you wanted a definitely a new start with this woman it could be a mother figure it could be an aunt it could be uh, someone because you're coming um, offering a gift but I see a tower moment is coming down because this person find out your secrets what you have done and this person 
um, is not don't want to have a new start with you um, this person realize uh, something that you have done and they, they you know you come apologizing and they found out that you have done something deceptive with their financial balance okay the truth is coming out about what you have done um, and I see a tower moment is coming down I see you're coming in bearing gifts um, but this person if it's your mom if it's your sister if it's a haunt whoever this person is you come bearing gifts but this person is as if no I don't need the gifts okay so whatever is to inspire I see the two of cups is coming in so this is definitely the two of cups is here and it is definitely a situation where some of you have done something to this woman and this woman is like back away don't come close to me because I want to have nothing else to do with you so I don't know um, whoever this person is but it's coming up as a family member or something because I see you come in bearing gifts but this person is like uh, no um, forgiveness is I'm not I haven't reached the point to forgive you for what you have done so um thank you but no thank you okay so however that is coming up in your life it is a serious case because if it's your mom your mom is very upset over what has transpired and your mom is like why did you do that you know um you didn't have to do that if it's not your mom um it could be someone who was a good friend to you um, that you have done some injustice it could be your grandmother but whoever this person is this person is not over the hurt and pain and if you try to contact this person they are definitely not going to be wanting to um, connect to you so you gotta be you gotta leave it for some time um, it's better to just leave it because this person is very hurt and I'm seeing that you young people want to reconnect it could be a haunt or someone who seems to be a mother or something like that but it is as if no just let it be let it be they are not ready yet for this healing to come in so i see um some of you have some regrets um if you were married to an aries Lee or a sagittarius I see you have a lot of regrets however that is coming up you definitely have a lot of regrets and you are going to be victorious with a situation with a house um, you're going to be victorious dealing with a situation where some injustice had taken place you're definitely going to be realizing how deceptive um, a deceptive play that has transpired and you're definitely going to be really um, bringing this situation to an end okay so the wheel of fortune is coming in and this is the center so you um water sign people are coming out of some hardships i some of you are seeing the lies and deceptiveness over a leo woman and it is showing up okay then you have uh, the energy of the ten of swords twice so you people are dealing with some deceptiveness that you're finding out some deceptiveness that has transpired you're not worried anymore because the truth is coming out you're definitely because an investigation is taking place against uh, um, some deceptive uh, um, situation that has transpired I see you're definitely going to be winning and overcoming I see the energy with the lovers is in reverse for you water sign people um, and I see that you wanted a new start um, but um, because of uh, information that is coming in you're trying to keep uh, because the truth is going to be coming in so some of you could be finding out the truth about the Taurus it's definitely going to be coming in some of you some news is coming in that you have to find balance to deal with and it's going to affect the young people between the ages of 18 and 45 I see some of you are worried because uh, it's as if your parents find out what you have done. I see the energy of the King of Pentacles. This is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but this is a Taurus man who has found out something about you young 
women because you young women are in the reverse and very saddened because some news is coming from a whole Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person and you're very sudden about this news that is coming in however it affects you I see the truth is coming out about you young people a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman could be bringing out the news about your young people over something that you have done this is a situation where some of you have uh, tried to accuse and create havoc in the life of a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person and this lady whoever this lady is 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 um is really standing firm and she is like you dare not uh, who are you you dare not do this you know how um how dare you so however way whether this latest is at, is at work or not at work however um this person is coming up in your life is that this person is like no way just remove away from me um i can't believe that i had so much faith in you how could you have done this to me so whatever is transpiring and i see um you young ladies are in the reverse because if you were in a relationship with a with a Gemini, a Gemini has found out everything that you have done. A Gemini realized that you have played them like a fickle, and the Gemini is going to be ending the relationship between you and them. If you were married to this Gemini, I see this Gemini um really is um they're not they're like oh my god i can't believe what you do and i'm sorry ladies and gentlemen i am really i really have to get my chain back on okay um so whatever um you ladies especially you ladies 50 years and um you young ladies between um the ages of uh, um, let's say 18 and 35 there is really you have done some issue and I see an old Virgo man is really investigating a situation a old Virgo man I've seen the deceptiveness that you have done against um, a Gemini it is so wrong what you have done and it is all coming out okay so whatever that was happening in your life you oh my god you are about to yeah I'm leaving it because I know a lot of you are saying why don't she just leave it until she finish <laughs> so um really I see that some of you cancers want to apologize to a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn but they're not ready for this apology and I see that you see the injustice that has happened to this person that this Air, uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius has done and you are saddened but the Wheel of Fortune is in the middle because the Wheel of Fortune is going to be removing you guys out of uh, some coldness some situation that was happening into a brighter future and into something that is much better and much much better terms well. but you young ladies i see an investigation and a taurus virgo or a capricorn uh, or a taurus and virgo person is seeing the truth of what you have done a gemini is going to leave you okay so if you're in a relationship with a gemini this gemini has seen the truth they are deciding to release themselves out of this relationship with you okay so wow uh yes uh, pisces it is rough but it's, it's 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 for you moon people it's like the truths are coming out and it has to do with uh, um uh, seeing the truth of a situation I see some of you uh, might be thinking about getting married or thinking about uh, uh, offering um, someone a position of uh, um, to live with you that sort of a thing is coming up okay all right let's look at the moon Pisces let's look at the moon Pisces and see what's coming up for the moon Pisces okay 
well Pisces it's kind of heavy the energies are heavy if you want to see um, if you definitely wants to see what is happening for you um, you can check out the extended but you have to choose for the 499 okay the 499 is going to give you a lot of information so what is uh, what is transpired is that just choose for the 499 that is going to give you a lot of information so let's look and see what is coming up for the moon um, water sign people you're coming in you have a situation at work you're working you're you're thinking um, work is everything for you at this moment and a new start is coming up for work for you whatever that was happening and transpiring I see a new start I see love is in the reverse it's all that you're focused on work okay I see um, whatever the situation and the regrets is with love you are just focusing on your work I see deceptiveness um, so um, look out because some deceptiveness is at play so you gotta be aware okay then I see the energy of money is going to be coming in a new start with your money is definitely going to be coming in I see some of you are looking um, to expand your business overseas that is going to be working out for you I see some secrets around you guys um, and uh, I see you're trying to find strength with a deceptiveness that has transpired you're coming out to having a lot of inner wisdom and your guiding angels is going to be connecting to you and let you know what is going on wow so better readings than the fire sign okay so I see some of you realize that some deceptiveness has, has transpired I see some of you are looking for a new love um, um yeah I see uh, some of you are regret a situation the truth came out and you regret a situation let's see news is coming in about work so this is good that is going to give you a new start and that is going to give you financial balance so news is coming in about work wheel of fortune is also here so um, if you were working and you were looking for work it's going to be happening I see they're going to be finding out where some money went some money that was supposed to come to you guys someone has intercept the money I see that you're going to receive this money to move forward okay I see some of you deciding to end a relationship um, this could be a new relationship I see some of you um, um, want to end a relationship or a friendship you're looking to make new friends and create new friendship for yourself I see some of you have regrets dealing with an um, an a fire sign person this is a woman um, that is 50 years and older okay I see some of you were expecting to have some news from this person but there is nothing um, I see you realize the truth about a young Aries Leo or a Sagittarius their secrets is now out I see you're protecting yourself from a Leo some of you are protecting yourself from a Leo I see judgment call on a deceptive situation that has transpired I see a judgment call a huge judgment call I see some of you are having conflicts and you and the conflicts is with a layer and you have to find inner strength to deal with this I see the nine of Pentacles some secrets about a Leo and the money so it's as if mm -hmm. oh boy I don't know but this is a year normally and this is what I say um, to people a lot of people each year carry the energy vibration for another zodiac sign okay and Leo's are always getting these wonderful good nice readings but the last couple of years what we're seeing here is that the Leo's whatever they have done in the past is coming out in the present now because I see you protecting yourself information that is coming from a Leo I see you protecting yourself from this information 
I see you found out what Leah has done. So um, this person could have been a new love for some of you and you realize the deceptiveness of this Leo. I see news this is going to be coming to you about work. New work is coming in. Uh, some of you were expecting news to, from your kids. You haven't heard anything. Some of you have um, some regrets dealing with a woman 50 years and older that was an um, it could be a Sagittarian woman. Some of you have regret ever dealing with this person. I see some of you who were dealing with an Aries um, as a friend. I see you're ending this relationship with this Aries. I see this Aries is from a past life um, and, and, and it, is, it is changing. I see an investigation is coming up over an Aquarius, Gemini or Libra over something deceptive. Um, this woman has stolen uh, some money. I see a judgment call over a deceptiveness that has to do with a lot of money and a judgment call is going to be coming out. I see a cycle is going to be over, a cycle with secrets. There's a lot of secrets and some of you have a lot of secrets to deal with a Leo. A Leo has done some deceptiveness and I see the secret. Some of you is a Leo, some of you is a Sagittarian, some of you is an Ophiosis. So, um... In the last two weeks, it's as if uh, when we look at the energy in the last two weeks, is that some of you were expecting um, to receive a news from an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, but I see a judgment call is coming in because um, if you even do air the news, they want to know about money. When are you going to bring the money? I see you're trying to find um, inner strength to deal with uh, a Sagittarian woman, whether the Sagittarian woman is your, there is some conflicts between you and a Sagittarian woman. And I see that you're trying to balance out. So a lot of you water signs is having issues with the Aries, having issues with the Leos and having issues with a Sagittarian. But I see a huge judgment call is going to be coming down on a young um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius because there is some conflicts that is going on around you and this conflict has to do with secrets about secrets about an Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay and um, what is happening and transpiring is that you are trying to figure out what exactly has transpired so I see um, for some of you a new start is coming in you're going to be just focusing on work I see some of you are going to be receiving a message from an Aquarian, Gemini, Libra, but that is about money. I see you want a new start. You're looking for a new, um, there could be some issues with your children or your child. Um, some of you I could not heard from your child for some while and you're being very worried. Um, I see that number three is going to be your energy vibration. Whatever is transpiring, I see some of you want to, Turn your back on a friend and move forward, however that is coming up. So I see issues, I see secrets with a new love, some of you. Some of you are going to be finding out that this new love that popped up in your life is not really for the right reason, so be aware. Be careful because I see this deceptiveness that is coming up. A judgment call is going to really come out on some deceptiveness that has to do with a whole lot of money. Some lies and secret that a Leo has um, access and taken a whole lot of money. So there has been a theft that has transpired and it has to do with someone. Either you work with a person or the person pretend to be you and access a whole lot of money. And I see the secrets are going to be coming out. You could be finding out about the secrets or the secrets is going to be just coming out and you're going to be knowing what exactly a transpire. So be aware of this because this is going to be coming out. Let's go in and look at your 12 houses. So whatever is transpiring, let's go in and look at your 12 houses. Because whatever is happening in your 12 houses, we are going to be finding out, okay? Oh, right. Um, you know, don't be taken back with these readings because most of the signs are having the same thing. I think that you want a sign have the best readings. I see a theft that has been transpired with a whole lot of money and it has to do with a Leo, okay, or an air sign person, but it is all coming out. So remember, um, 
water sign people that your house is is cancer you have the fourth house okay pisces you have the 12 house scorpion you have the eight house so remember that um scorpions you have the eight house so try and remember what is going to affect you i will give you extra information about what is going to affect you in whatever houses that you're in so water sign it is really something this um month happy birthdays to all who are having um birthdays in the month of february happy birthdays to you guys all right so we see for the self i see you're going to start loving yourself i see that somewhere else that um water sign is going to start loving themselves i see healing around your environment i see you're going with the flow with your family i see your luck lies where friendships are i see problems with um legalities um i see a lot of mystery around you scorpions um you cancers are going with the flow with your family life and this is good i see a, a tower moment coming up for you um a tower moment is coming up for you pisces so be aware of that so let's see who you're working with luck is in the friendship zone for you water sign so you're finding luck in the friendship zone i see you're going to be lucky if you're traveling all right water sign so if you're traveling water sign i see you are going to be very lucky if you're traveling so i see you're dealing with a sagittarius some of you could be falling in love with a sagittarius or some of you could be a uh, voyaging within to find healing i see a capricorn is going to help you with your financial stability i see in the environment a taurus is going to be there for you i see with family you're dealing with a leo i see the virgos is going to be coming in and helping you i see that the scorpions you fall in the house from your everyday um work and that sort of a thing so be aware gemini's there is some legal issues and some of you could be married to a gemini they're creating some issue i see you're going to be lucky removing an aries from your information okay so aries could have accessed your information and you're going to be moving uh, this person you're going to be very lucky over an Aries so before I move on um, let me look at where you guys fall so scorpions scorpions you fall in the house of the Virgo the sixth house so there is going to be issues with your everyday situation however that is coming up you have finding your true not so you scorpions are going to be finding your true not when it comes up on to work and your everyday um duties and uh, situation hmm, cancers i see you in the 10th house and the cancers in the 10th house i see pluto there is cancers your reputation is going to be ruined so whatever has transpired um um, I see Pluto is coming. Uh, your reputation, Cancers, be aware about your reputation because I see your reputation. Now, um, Pisces, you fall in your own house, the 12th house, and I see you're radically going to be making some changes. Um, so you're ending karmatic situation and you're going to be successful ending them. Okay, so however this is coming up, I see you're radically going to be ending karmatic situation so in the first house i see you falling in love with yourself again and it's as if a sagittarius or somehow you go within and you're connecting with yourself so you're falling in love with yourself and this is really good because you're learning to love yourself what assignments because you have never really appreciate yourself for who you are but you're learning to love yourself in the second house of uh, um, a Capricorn is going to bring you opportunities. So you want a sign in your financial world. A Capricorn is going to bring you a lot of opportunities. However, this is happening and transpire. I see a Capricorn is going to be bringing you a lot of financial opportunities in your environment at work in your house. I see um, um, a healing is coming between you and a Taurus. Okay. 
whatever that has happened and transpired i see this as a healing coming for you and a taurus and this is in your environment so if you have a relationship with a taurus if this is a sister or brother that is in a house i see a healing is coming in then we see positive flow with the family whatever is transpiring i see very positive flow with family issues and situation there is a really positive flow coming in for you water sign your luck lies through friendships so however that is coming up i see your luck is is it's lying in friendship and this is very good because people and friends are going to be supporting you um guys and especially if you have a friend that is a virgo this person is going to be helping you and supporting you so in the in the groups and people who you enjoy being with a virgo is going to be um helping you out scorpions you fall in the house of the six house and um there is a situation um because pluto is there scorpion for you scorpion for the rest of the people you're going to be finding your true north um, but especially for the, the scorpion, you are going to be finding out exactly what you were meant to do. Okay. Then we have uh, the energy of the Gemini and the square. So I see some of you having some legal issue with a Gemini. Whatever is transpired, I see some of you having some legal issue with a Gemini. Um, and I see this situation is transpiring. Then we have the energy of the eighth house, where the house of the scorpion, the eighth house is about relationship, contract, and that sort of a thing. I see some of you going in contract with an Aquarian. That is not really the way to go. Honestly, people. On the other end, some of you are going to be invent inventing something. So I see some of you inventing something, whatever it is that you're inventing, it's going to be very good. So you could be um, um, connecting together to, for, to invent something with each other, and that is going to be good. In the ninth house, I see a lot of love, whether you're traveling, whether spirituality, whether you're studying, with business, I see a lot of luck. I see some of you are going to be removing an Aries out of your life, okay? I see you're going to be um, separating yourself if it's a business, whatever it is. Some of you are being affected by an Aries that lives somewhere else. And I see you're going to be removing these people and situation out of your life. The energy of 10th house, Pluto is in the 10th house. Again, so watch out because your repetition is going to be ruined. 11th house is Uranus that is um, the house of the of Urania so in the 11th house is the planet of Uranus that is bringing balance if you have an issue um, a legal issue I see some of you are going to stand back and just let it go if uh, some of you have um, a relationship with a Libran I see you're going to be letting go this person because you have reached you're at the edge of this situation and i see you're going to be letting go of this libra and said it's it's good i have enough from this situation you're going to think okay this is perfect i'm okay i i have enough of this i don't want to go um with this situation any longer and when we look at the 12 hours it's going to be that you guys are radically going to be releasing karma um releasing um, issues from past life healing um, yourself healing issues between you and others but I see the Pisces this is your house and you are going to be radically moving and ending some karmatic situations in your life and you know it is good you know however way we look at this um, I'm seeing a really successful outcomes for you um, water sign people because it's as if you are letting go things that no longer serves you. And I think that th that is the best way to go at it and the best way for you to balance out certain things and you're going to be letting go. So business is going to be good because I see a Capricorn is going to be helping you guys to create financial abundance. 
so business is definitely going to be good so your money aspect is going to be good because i see a capricorn is going to be creating avenues um where you can um create financial abundance for yourself so this is going to be good but i see the most important thing is that you guys are learning to love yourself and you are you know looking for ways and means to heal yourself but yet still understanding and loving to learn yourself so um this is uh, really wonderful and it's very positive so however way you look at it it's going to be good it's, it's all about um clearing up things situations around you and then um things that no longer um um the frequency of your energy and this person this situation is not at the same i see family and this is so good because situation between you and family members are good and that is really positive because you are realizing that whoever this and whatever is transpiring situation between you and your fam family members are going in perfectly aligned of energies and this is good so wonderful alignment of energies is coming up So you want to sign people remember to go back if you want to see the extended for each individual sign um, um when you connect to my channel use the 499 because in the 499 you receive all the extended thank you so much for returning and please share 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 these videos what a sign people i love you guys out of all of the four elements because these are um cumulative reading you guys have been one of the best um because it has been rough energies from all to all to all to a lot of people happy birthdays to the the water signs that is having birthdays in this month and remember um love is the only thing that is real share 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 thumbs up set your notification button on and I am going to speak to you next month. Namaste.